All right, so we have the graph of f prime. Again, apologies for the how small it is. That's the graph of f prime. This is the graph of f prime. The derivative of f is shown above. Which of the following statements must be true? f has a relative minimum of x equals negative 3. Well, let's see. What can we say it's happening at negative 3? Well, f prime is negative. So that means the graph goes from decreasing, and then it goes from decreasing to increasing. So a graph that goes from de decreasing to increasing would have a relative minimum. And so that's true. Um, the graph of f has an inflection point at x equals negative 2. Well, at negative 2, that's this point right here. So read this carefully. The graph of f has an inflection point at x equals negative 2. No. This is, we're looking at the graph of f prime. It definitely looks like f prime has an inflection point. But for the graph of f to have an inflection point, we need the, the derivative to, to uh, change direction. In other words, a max or a min on this graph means an inflection point for, for our function f. So that's not right. And then lastly, we've got the graph of f is concave down on the interval 0 to 4. Well, if we're looking at f prime concave down, we want to translate that to f prime is decreasing. So is it true that f prime is decreasing on the interval 0 to 4? It is. So that's true too. And so our answer choice is therefore e.